started all right hello all of you so we'll be starting with the acid classes uh, i'll start with a quick orientation introduction of acid what it is all about why you have to appear for acid um when is the examination eligibility and all these things all right so first of all acid is actuarial common entrance test why do you have to appear for acid you have to appear for acid so that you can appear for all the other 13 actuarial papers from indian institute of actuaries iai all right now this is a 100 marks paper which you will be getting uh, it's an mcq based examination so it's only objective based there is no question answer short question anything which you have to do it's all mcq based there is no negative marking earlier there were used to be negative marking but now they don't have any negative marking it's a 100 marks paper and the passing marks is 50 only all right so let's just quickly understand what it is all about i have just opened the iia website itself because there is no uh, better platform than this so um basically uh, your let's first understand the quick uh, quickly understand the structure it's a 3 hours examination it's a 100 marks paper there will be 70 mcq questions now it's a online only uh paper so till now it was happening it uh, it was a center based examination it was happening in center um i don't know what they will do moving forward they might make it home based as well or they might keep it center based so there is no clarity on that till now but yes it's an online so you have to give the examination on the computers if it's a center based you will give the uh, exam on the computer of the center which you are going to or if it's a home based then definitely you have to use your own systems all right now since it's an mcq based there will be four options a b c d you have to select any one now it's not necessarily that all the mcqs are of one mark it can be two mark three mark four mark five mark as well there will be 70 questions and there is no negative marking passing marks is 50 only so if you, if you get 50 or above 50 you will pass your acit examination next examination date uh, till now there is no announcement as such but we can expect the next examination to be happening maybe in 3 4 months of time uh, but there is no clarity again on that all right now let's quickly understand the structure uh, first of all acit examination will be covering five broadly five subjects which is mathematics which is 30% statistics which is again 30% then is your logical reasoning data interpretation and di so um, mathematics is your 30% statistics is your 30 marks 30 marks meaning it's 30% data interpretation english and logical reasoning so these are the next three parts data interpretation and english is of 15% each and logical reasoning is of 10% right now um the syllabus of these i'll quickly give you an overview of the syllabus as well uh 45 questions will be there of one mark each there will be 20 questions of two mark each and five questions of three mark each these five questions can be in any of these five sections right so this is your five topics majorly which you have to cover and these are the distribution of the marks that you will be getting all right there is no negative marking and the passing marks is 50 only uh quickly let's also understand the syllabus although um the syllabus of this is similar to what you have done in your class 11 and 12 but obviously those who did not have mathematics in their 11 and 12 you may you may have taken applied mathematics you will see that it is somewhat similar but again uh, you definitely have to study if it is not exactly the same all right so um although you might have had mathematics in your class 11 and 12 for those who did not had mathematics the syllabus is somewhat similar but again you have to study properly for this as well because you might not have studied uh, vectors matrices and few topics here and there there are a lot of topics within these uh, as well 
statistics again covers a lot of parts we have these are the different topics covered which we'll be doing moving forward once we start individually with these uh, subjects then again we have english data interpretation and logical reasoning so these are the various topics now since given the amount of time you guys have which is approximately 3 to 4 months considering they uh, have not declared the actual dates of exam so every day if you are giving 2 hours to your acet examination to your acet studies you can easily clear the paper provided you are properly dedicatedly giving 2 hours one hour will be our class that we'll be having live classes and one one and a half hours you can do self study at your own pace we'll be giving you targets we'll be uh, guiding you how to move forward what are the different strategies to study how to practice questions uh, from where to practice questions everything we'll be guiding you and you have to move accordingly right now with us we have our aiq uh, forum wherein we have a lot of mcqs with us right so i'll just quickly show you all the mcq platform that we have built in since your entire examination is mcq based it's extremely important that you practice accordingly if you are solving question and answer or if you are writing that will not help you in the exam scenario right if you are practicing question and answers in the M mcq format itself it will help you to understand where to score marks how to score marks because you have to be really quick while answering 70 questions because obviously 70 questions is a lot it's not very less you will not take 1 minute to solve one question some questions might need more time as well so you need to also understand the marking distribution the time allocation for that it's very important that you solve uh, for our aiq forum uh, all the students they know that there is a class schedule which will be posted here these are the various study materials that we are using class notes and everything this is a q and a forum q and a forum is where you students and teachers interact you can put your questions we can put our solutions even you can answer the questions which other students are posting so it's a forum wherein everyone is participating uh, and interacting this is the test bank which i want to show it to you all we have an mcq bank we also have mock tests which you can take once you have maybe studied for 5 6 topics and you want to sit for a half an hour or a one mark test you can uh, opt this mock test let's just go and check mcq uh, bank so here if you can see we have categorized this in the form of acid maths and in acid maths we have all the different mathematical different topics within the maths obviously relation and functions will cover all the sub topics which is there in relation and functions statistics has all the statistics topics then we have english then we have lr and then we have finally di so for example let's say, suppose if you want to you have studied in statistics probability and permutation combination this is something which you have studied and you want to sit for an exam so if i just select this topic you see we have in total 84 mcqs if you don't want to solve uh, 84 mcqs in total let's say, suppose if you just want to solve 10 mcqs for today just type 10 and create testlet so randomly it will give you 10 questions all right i am attempting all the 10 questions let's say, suppose i have attempted the first question over here and if it's a wrong answer it also gives you an explanation why it's a wrong answer why it's a correct answer right once you have done this for example i found this question to be difficult so i want to flag this for my later purposes i want to practice the same question maybe after 10 days so what i will do i will click on this flag all right this is flagging means that i, I am marking a question for future purposes i can go and revisit and solve this question again once this is all done let's say suppose i am finishing the entire test i'm answering all the 10 questions here i'm just answering one and moving back so here what i can do is i want to see again the flagged questions which i took so i just click on flagged and here you see that there is one question which i flagged 
because I just flagged one question. This is for practice purposes. For example, when you practice from hard copy, you mark the questions which you seem to be, you find to be difficult so that you can solve it later, right? But here you can do this flagging. So this is this you can do on your mobile phones. This you can do on your laptops. This you can do if you have any tablet. So anywhere on the go also, if you want to practice 10 questions, you can easily do this. All right. So it's very, very uh, interactive. Now in the flag, for example, you also want to see all the unattempted questions. So you can also click on unattempted. It will give you, for example, here in the uh, ACET statistics, there were, I think, uh, if I just click on this unattempted again, so it will give you all the unattempted questions. So this is how you can, you know, quickly uh, create your own testlet and solve. This is very, very important for you to understand that how you have uh, gotten, how you have actually studied the concepts, uh, whether all the concepts which you have studied, are you able to um, you know give the correct output or not so that is very very important right um this is all about acet it's a very easy exam but at the same time i have seen students who also are not able to clear acet just because why they consider it they take it very lightly and they don't study properly so it's very important that you study for the subject at least give two hours every day Right. And if you are anyone who have cleared your class two examination, class 12 examination, and you also want to sit for any other paper in November, maybe if possible, or maybe in the May attempt later in 2025, if you are someone who wants to do that and you want to start your journey with for the other paper, you can do it. So you can manage both. You can manage studying ACET plus you can manage studying any other paper as well because for ACET you just have to give two hours every day as I mentioned and rest four to five hours you can give to any other paper if you want to study right so this is all about basic introduction to what ACET is it's an now for Indian Institute they have made it free earlier they used to charge a fee now there is no fee for ACET examination for IEA registration it is free of course uh, you have to clear ACET then you have to take the student membership from IEA once you take the student membership from IEA you can sit for any like appear for the any 13 papers and gradually you will have to complete all the papers so that is the entire process ACET is compulsory to appear in order to give for sit for other 13 papers right one second um also one more uh, important thing there is exemption as well what that is what you are asking if so exemption is something which you can uh, take if you there are different exemption uh, possibilities are there which we can discuss in any other video Ha, for ACET, you don't have to purchase any material. For ACET, you don't have to purchase any material. Whatever notes we are giving you, we are making you write in the class, that is more than enough. And then obviously, we have over here, if I just select all, I'll show you how many questions we have. We have 1300 plus questions over here. I think this is like more than enough. If you practice all these 1300 questions also. And the, again, we have our own compiler that has another set of thousand plus questions are there over there so if you take into account you have like 1500 unique questions you get so i think it's more than enough to practice uh, even if you practice 10 questions every day you take 150 days to practice all these questions right so plenty of questions are there don't worry about that uh, our notes is more than enough that you have to go through there is no other material that you have to uh, use if there is anything else we'll tell you we'll guide you how to move forward all right. So that is the basic introduction to ACET.